In this video, I will show you how to deploy files using Windows provisioning packages. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the objectives for this video. The main one is to deploy files. And for that I will be using 7-zip because 7-zip allows us to package multiple files into a single executable. And this executable is called self-extracting archive. And we can execute this self-extracting archive from our command line and then provide the destination where we want to deploy the files on our computer. And as you can see from my provisioning package, I will be deploying my files to C files folder. And if the folder does not uh, exist on the computer, it will be created by the self-extracting archive. Anyways, I will also be packaging all the necessary steps to go from out of the box experience to the user's desktop without any user interaction. And this includes executing a PowerShell script ubi setup ps1 and the script will be responsible for skipping the privacy experience, creating local administrator's account and configuring the power settings so that the computer does not go to sleep during the provisioning process. And now I will begin this video by downloading the ubi setup ps1 script that I have here in my github page. I will click on it, it opens up. And here you can see that here we are creating a local administrator's account. Here we are skipping the privacy experience. And then in the end, we are configuring the power settings. And now to download this file, I will click on the button right here. And then I will go to my downloads folder. And here in my downloads folder, I have the script that I just downloaded from the GitHub page. And also for executables that I will be deploying from my provisioning package. And now I will show you how to package the four files that I have here into a single executable. So basically I select all of them, then I will right click, go to 7-zip, and then let's click on add to archive. Here we can give a name for our executable. So I will name it files. And also for the options, we need to select create SFX archive. And that's basically it. Now we can click on okay and wait a second. And as you can see, now I have this single executable that I will be using to deploy my files. Now to start creating the provisioning package, I will go to my Windows Configuration Designer. Here, let's create a new project. So for that, I will go to File, New Project. I will name the provisioning package Files. Then let's click Next and Next. Here I will select all Windows Desktop Editions and click Next and then Finish. And now first let's skip out of the box experience and perform all actions necessary to go from out of the box experience to user's desktop. So first let's go to runtime settings, then let's go to Ubi, let's select a desktop. And here for hide Ubi, I will select true. And now let's configure the execution of the Ubi setup PS1 script. So for that, I will go to provisioning commands. Here I will select a device context and then I will select files. And here we need to provide a script that we need to execute. So let's go to browse. Let's go to downloads folder. And here I will select ubi setup script. Then I will click add and this will add the file to our package. And then let's go to the command line. And here we need to provide the instructions on how to execute our script. And for that I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have all the values that I will be using. So to execute the setup, uh, the ubi setup ps1 script, we are executing PowerShell and then PowerShell will execute the script. Now to copy this line, I will click on the button right here, go back to my package and provide the value in here. And now the last step is to configure the file deployment. And for that, I will go to primary context. I will click on command and here I will create a new command. I will name it file deployment and then I will click add I will select add the command that appeared in here and here once again we need to provide the file that we want to execute and also the command that is responsible for executing that file so first let's provide the file and for that I will go to browse then I will go to my downloads folder and here I will select the self-extracting archive that I created and then for the command line, once again, I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have the command that I will be using. And one thing to note that this command will first copy the files from the provisioning package to the temp directory on the computer. And then it will execute the self-extracting archive from there. 
And that's because sometimes it gets very buggy when executing files directly from the provisioning package. Anyways, once again, I will click on the button right here to copy this command, go back to my provisioning package and then provide the value in here. And that's basically it. Now we can create our package. And for that, I will go to export provisioning package. Here I will click on next, 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 and then build. Then I will click on the output location. And the only file that we care about is this file.bpkg1. And now to test this provisioning package, I will right click on it, select copy. Then I will go to my USB drive that I have connected to my computer and I will place the package inside of my USB drive. And now I will go to my VMware workstation because here I have prepared a Windows 11 virtual machine that is in out of the box experience. And now to execute the provisioning process, the only thing that I need to do is to connect the USB drive from my computer to this virtual machine. And to do that, I will go to VM, removable devices, and then I will select the USB drive that I want to connect and I will click on connect. And the process should start and now we need to wait and let it finish. And as you can see, the provisioning package was executed successfully. We went from out of the box experience to user's desktop without any user interaction. And now let's check if the file deployment was successful. So for that, I will go to file explorer, then this PC, C drive. Here we have folder files and here we have our four executables. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.